Good morning guys and welcome to this episode 2 of my Swiss series. It's day 2 here in Zurich and shortly I'll be driving uh, to Jungfrau, top of Europe for this tour. Once I'm done with this tour, I'll be driving to Interlaken uh, and uh, this is around 30 minutes uh, drive from uh, Jungfrau. I shall be showing you the small beautiful town of uh, Interlaken and well, uh, on the way uh, to Jungfrau, I'll be also making a photo stop at the Lungen uh, area which is uh, a very scenic place. So first of all it's time for breakfast so let me show you around the breakfast room at the Marriott and then proceed uh, to Jungfrau. So as you see amazing views out here After the two and a half hours drive from the Zurich Marriott I finally arrived here at the Grindelwald Grün train station. I'll be taking a train, the first train which is 45 minutes and then change over to a second train which is 5 minutes and once again a third train which will be 20 minutes taking me to Jungfrau top of Europe. So uh, I think we have to wait for an about 30 minutes for the train and until then I'll show you around this area which is so picturesque. So as I'm waiting for the train out here, which is still another 20 minutes, uh, a cool gang of uh, guys out here who have come to explore this area to visit Jungfrau, the top of Europe. So let's have a small talk with them and get their insights about the place. Although we have not yet been there, of course, I mean, we are yet to go on top, but generally the surrounding and how they're enjoying Switzerland. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. We're enjoying, having fun. So let me ask you, what do you feel about this place here in uh, Grindelwald Grund? Uh, on the way up to the mountain. This is a fantastic place. This is not the first time for me. I've been here a couple of times. And whenever I'm in Switzerland, I make sure that I catch a train and come here. So it's one of the favorite destinations for me. Amazing, amazing. This is the nature, this is the beauty. Excellent. What about you? Amazing place. We're loving the weather, loving the beer, enjoying with the friends. Amazing place. So here I have another couple uh, who are from Switzerland who live here. And let's get an idea from them, although they are locals here, why do they come often to these beautiful ski resort areas and get some more insight about what is to be seen around this area or generally in Switzerland. Hi, my name is Jimmy Thompson. I'm Canadian, but I've been living in Switzerland for about 30 years. Came here by accident and I can't leave because uh, it's just an absolutely fantastic country. It's got tremendous skiing. Great scenery, everything's green, clean, it works, it's safe, it's a beautiful place to visit. We keep coming back to Grindelwald simply because it's, well, it's here. You gotta come and visit it, that's it. The train has arrived and I'm going to board this train which is going to be 45 minutes. You have to have the tickets till the way back, okay? back also, yeah. yes. Keep the tickets safe. So the train has started moving up to Jungfrau. And well, let me also introduce you to our driver, one of the best drivers you can have here in Switzerland, uh, Marcio, who is originally from Portugal. Hey everyone, my name is Marcio, I'm a driver, coach driver in Switzerland. Welcome to Switzerland. And also here I have a group who are all going up to Jungfrau.
after that 45 minutes ride, we are here at Kleiner Scheideck, which is 2,061 meters on top. And I'll be taking another train now, which is just five minutes. So it's very windy here and it's very cold. It's four degrees right now. And just waiting for the next train, which will be just five minutes uh, for the following connection. And there you see in the background, the train approaching. So here I am, this station is called Eager Glacier. So here we are for the third train which will take us to the top of Jungfrau. So we have made a five minute stop here at the Eisma station which is 3160 meters high. And just walking towards the viewpoint to have a great view of uh, one of the longest glaciers which is around 30 kilometers. So finally here on top of Europe, Jungfrau which is at 3454 meters. So well here I start my tour and you just follow this blue light towards the different attractions listed. This is the platform at the Sphinx to grab with amazing views. It's blowing, it's chilly. So you can literally hear the sound of the wind gushing. But a great viewpoint of the entire area. the sights with the best viewpoint here in Jungfrau. So the next stop is the Alpine Sensation. So I'm now entering the Ice Palace. So 
So as you see the walls on the sides, the top, it's all ice. It's very slippery down on the floor as well because it's all ice. So this is another amazing experience at the Jungfrau. So that's the end of the Ice Palace tour. So that was a fantastic tour and uh, it's now time for lunch. So this is a self-service restaurant that you order and then you take your meals and enjoy the great views. So well, I've just ordered this uh, paneer tasty dill, which is uh, made of pork. Here I have a dish with some french fries and uh, it's something made of pork. Very crunchy and uh, I would say very delicious. So basically this is a depiction of the cogwheel train, the track, so you have the tracks on either side and also a serrated track in between which is held by the cogwheel of the train. This helps the train from sliding down on steep slopes. So after that grand tour it's now time to go back to the train and then we'll be visiting Interlaken and I'll show you around a bit of this beautiful city as well. So during the tour, one of the places that I missed and I could not uh, take you and show you around is the Elet Glacier. This is an area within the Jungfrau uh, tour where you can go out uh, to one of the snow play areas. After that uh, train ride of around the 30 minutes, uh, there is an option of course to take the train back down but to just show you a different experience to go down by cable car, I've decided to change this uh, journey and I'll be going now on the cable car. So after that drive, I'm now here in the small town of Interlaken. Interlaken is a traditional resort town in the mountainous Bernese Oberland region of central Switzerland. Built on a narrow stretch of valley between the emerald-coloured waters of Lake Thun and Lake Brienz, 
It has old timber houses and parkland on either side of the Ari River. Its surrounding mountains with dense forests, alpine meadows and glaciers have numerous hiking and skiing trails. It's a small town so let me just go around on a small walking tour and show you around. So as you see here in Interlaken, you have various choices of activities besides the skiing, the hiking, <laughs> and one of it is paragliding. And as you see, loads of people landing out here. Let's just talk to the gentleman here, the instructor, and the, the, yeah. the guest who has had his experience to, to give an understanding of what it is like to do this paragliding. Hi. So, yeah, it was amazing. You should definitely try it. <laughs> and you can see snow and uh, you can, there's one mountain in uh, which is which comes closer so you feel more uh, I don't know <laughs> I can't express right now maybe he's the better one to express you, you seem very happy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's very excited so he's no words yeah yeah for sure over excited no it's easy we had a great we had a great time. yeah we had a great time. so basically uh, it's uh, you take off you said behind the mountain here yes we take off we drive up in our bus for 20 minutes we take off 800 meters above interlock mm -hmm. and um flight time is around 10 to 20 minutes and we float around so as you've heard from this uh, guy who did the paragliding definitely worth a try when you're next year in interlaken this is the victoria jungfrau hotel in interlaken one of the best luxury hotels That was a glimpse of the west side of Interlaken. As I mentioned earlier, it's a very small town and I'm now walking towards the east side.
So this is the Interlaken East train station. So guys, that sums up day two here in Switzerland. Uh, I'll be shortly driving back from Interlaken to Zurich. Uh, tomorrow morning, I drive to Lausanne and on the way, I'll be visiting the beautiful capital city of Bern. So I hope this video has given you a good insight of the tour of Jungfrau, as well as this beautiful small town of Interlaken. Uh, do like, post your feedback and comments, and subscribe and stay tuned to the next vlog.